Hello everyone, this is Pam back again with a little zipper information this time. I'm just going to talk specifically about how to attach zipper pulls onto tape that doesn't have a zipper pull on it. A lot of times with bag making patterns now, they are asking for zipper by the yard because some of them take an extended length of zipper to go around something. You can buy zipper by the yard in, at a lot of different places. And for bag making, it's usually good to get this size, which is called number five. Um, and it does say nylon zipper on here, plus <clears throat> because the teeth will look like metal, but they're actually nylon. And they usually come with all of these little zipper pulls separately. So you can use <clears throat> like 10 inches of the tape with a zipper pull, and then you can use 12 inches of the tape for another zipper pull and so forth. So the way that I have found that recently through a friend of mine named Leanne, who um, had, was using doing this at a retreat I attended this fall, and I, she was using this little gadget here, which is actually sold on Amazon as well as I'm sure other places as a towel holder. It has an adhesive back, so the intention is that you would put that on the wall and then you stick the corner of a towel in there, pull it, and it holds it tight in that little wedge down at the bottom there. This one happens to be stainless steel. I know they come in other finishes and, and types, but that's what that is originally for. And I will put a link for that down uh, in the show notes. This one happened to be one that Leanne had extra and gave to me, so I had to start learning how to use it. And this is what I'm gonna show you. When you get your zipper tape, a lot of times, well, it will have a raw edge, maybe from your previous use. Um, and sometimes this gets rather frayed, the fabric on there, and the teeth might get pulled out of whack. So you do need to uh, trim it with, just trim, trim it off with the scissors. Th these are not metal teeth, so you aren't gonna hurt your scissors. You can use an old scissors if you want or utility scissors, but you just need to get that um, off clean. Something like that. And a lot of times I will use fray check to, on these little fabric edges here just to keep them from raveling. Or sometimes you can you just singe them with a burner or um, a match to get this um, to seal up and not ravel more. Um, you can get all co colors of zipper tape with different colors of zipper teeth and pulls. Uh, I am going to right now just use this little zipper pull because it's copper and it contrasts with the rest of the metal here. Might be a little bit easier for you to see what I'm doing. So to start out, first just look at your zipper if you can. Get a good view of it. Let me see if I can hold it correctly there. You will see that there's... This is the round uh, end of the zipper pull, and there are two channels going in each side of the centerpiece. And then there's also this little uh, groove right here. That's for the fabric of the tape to slide through. So there's a couple points there that you need to line up when you're pulling your zipper through. And there, th it, using this little uh, metal bar here that holds onto the flap, I'm gonna slide that little metal bar down into the V of this. And then <clears throat> this is wrong side up. That's the other thing I forgot to mention. Put this wrong side up so that that tongue holds underneath. And then this is the wrong side of our zipper tape, right side, wrong side. And wrong side of the zipper is up, wrong side of the zipper tape is up. You're gonna come in let me see if I can zoom this in just a little bit better. There. I um, am using a little book here to hold it still because I don't, don't have the sticker on the back adhered to anything. You could also clamp it on the side of a table, I suppose. So I think you can see this. We're gonna take the two ends kind of simultaneously if you can lay them into that track and you'll get a feel for the teeth have to be into the center, the fabric has to go through that little slot 
and they have to kind of come at a little bit of an angle, not straight down, but just a little bit of an angle. Pull on them, and there's your zipper. And then slide this out, and you've got your zipper pull right on your zipper tape. And um, then you would need to sew across this or do something to stop, put a new stop on there. They do also sell those metal stops somewhere, but I don't have any of those on hand, but just so you don't accidentally zip it off like that and then you have to do it over again. But it does give you more practice, so that's good. Now the same concept is true for these smaller zippers, although these seem kind of miniature after I've been working with these this wide zipper tape. The wide zipper tape is better for getting um, a grip in the seam allowance of bags where it's going to get a lot of pulling it, um, and um, force on it. But you can do the same concept with these little zipper heads. If you have ever shopped uh, with Atkinson Designs, they have a lot of zippers, and they're the this size of zipper. I don't know what the number is or anything, um, but it's uh, a YKK, YKK zipper, but they have them in a multitude of colors and lengths, and um, you can buy packages of heads, too, if you want to put a different color of zipper pull onto your tape, such as something like that. It's the same concept. You would be holding this zipper pull upside down like that, but it doesn't fit in this metal. This has a much smaller spot here to grip it. So you can actually do it, and I've done this before. This is how I first learned how to do it, with the tines of a plastic fork. Probably even a metal fork would, would work. They just have to be able to kind of grip onto. Let me see if I can get that to look focused for you. You have to kind of be able to grip onto the sides with that tongue hanging down underneath. And then I often have had to have somebody else hold this still for me while I bring in the two sides of the zipper tape and slide them together down through there. It's a little bit harder. I haven't come up with a better solution yet, but I'm working on it. Maybe some of you know a better way to do that. But that's a good way to um, attach your zipper pulls just using this little hand towel gadget and I think you'll enjoy it. Practice it a few times and see how it works for you. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comments below and I will put notes in the uh, description of the video with links to the sales points that you can um, get these items at. So I hope you like that. Have fun. Bye-bye.